Hey, Living Word, uh, this is Pastor Greg, and I'm just so excited to start this devotional journey with you for the next two weeks. Now, you might be saying, what devotional? Well, uh, if you came to one of the Capitol Appeal meetings, you had a devotional in your packet. If you didn't, that packet should be getting sent to you anytime now. You should be receiving it in the mail shortly, and you'll have a hard copy in there, but we also sent a digital copy to you uh, through your email, so hopefully you can participate and start. We really are hoping that we can walk through this together each day um, so we can be united in our attempt just to seek and pray for God's will for living word in terms of this building and what that can be. And so uh, I pray that as we do this devotionals together, that as a body, we can be united and be excited for what's next, but also as individuals, we can discern what each of our parts and roles are in this. And um, there's no better place to do that than the word of God. The word of God unites, it brings clarity and uh, Hebrews 4.12, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh, and so it, it pierces us. It comes into our lives. It's alive and it's active. And so it's going to encounter us in different ways. And we pray that, that uh, it encounters us in a way that brings us clarity, clarity for living word and to each member in it, to what we're called to do. The devotional is going to be split up into three sections. And so the part one, uh, first five days, is listening to God. Part two is considering his goodness. That's going to be for about four days. And then part three is acting on his promises. Listening to God, considering his goodness, acting on his promises. That's how the devotional is laid out. And it was written by staff, myself, Dave, and even just different members of Living Word. And so... uh, As you read through this, this is just coming from a lot of different voices, a lot of different hearts, from a lot of different places in the Bible. We hope it's a blessing to you. And I'm going to kick off day one right now, May 8th. And uh, the scripture is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. I'm just going to read through this. And uh, that's what these are going to look like. Every day we're going to do a little devotional uh, over... YouTube that you can tune in if you are like to do it that way. You can follow along in your own devotional book or if you're just driving in your car and want to have it going through the speakers. Um, we're just going to do this so we can kind of be walking through this together and maybe it's a good way to be connected as well. Day one, <clears throat> trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make, your, make straight your paths. That's Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord and do not lean on your own understanding. What an extraordinary verse. Lean not on your own understanding? What else do I have to lean on, Lord? Our entire lives since we are young are formed around understanding things, understanding how people, cultures, families, uh, languages, finances, economies, and everything else in the world work. It is not long after we learn to speak that we learn an important word. Why? If you've ever spent time around a toddler, you have indeed been worn out by this word. It is a word spoken so that there can be deeper understanding of the world around them. But is this sort of, uh, but is this the sort of understanding that we are not supposed to lean on according to the scripture and this devotional? Do not get me wrong. Seeking to understand can be helpful in many circumstances. But just like the toddler asking why incessantly, there's a limit to how much we will ever be able to comprehend. Comprehend. Sometimes the answer to question, the question why is too deep for us to understand. Other times it's simply unimportant, and most often our time could be better spent looking at something already known. We are not going to understand everything on this side of heaven. The Lord has not and will not show us everything. Our understanding is going to be limited. Asking why too often can actually be unhelpful. When circumstances get hard, asking why for too long can lead to questioning the Lord and His goodness. It can lead us into the unknown where where we are not meant to go. We will not always know why certain things in life happen or why they function like they do. We do, however, have a God that has revealed an abundance of answers and promises in Scripture. I do not know why God is gracious, but through Scripture I know that He is. I do not know why God is so loving, but through Scripture I know that He is. Focusing on what is known brings far greater peace to us than the unknown, the whys of life. We have a good God who, whom we can trust. So today, trust in the Lord, regardless of the burdens or the joys your circumstances have you in right now. 
and lean not on your own limited understanding. Let us do this in our lives and as the church body as well. We do not know what this capital campaign will bring, and we do not claim to understand everything that God wants for living word. However, we trust that God will answer his beautiful promise to you and to living word. He will make our path straight as we acknowledge him in all that we do. Let's pray. Lord, we do not know what tomorrow will bring. Give us faith to trust you with all of our hearts. Give us faith to lean not on our own understanding, but to give us peace as we give everything to you. We do not know what this capital campaign will bring. We do not claim to understand everything that you want for us at Living Word. But God, would you just continue to let us trust you in faith together and acknowledge you, Lord Jesus, in all of our ways. And when we do, we trust that you will make the paths of Living Word straight to whatever you desire. Amen. Thanks for joining us, Living Word. Tune in again for devotion number two.